Is there ever a sense of novelty when you get new clothes or when you get the latest edition of your team's kit when it comes out? I wonder if any of you have had experience of repairing clothes. Nowadays, we tend to throw clothes away and get some new ones if anything's torn or broken. These days, it's probably cheaper. But when Jesus was telling his parables, that was a time when, yes, clothes, things would be repaired. But nobody would repair, would repair an old garment with new cloth. It just wouldn't make sense. Why would they do that? It would cause damage to that clothes. When it becomes wet, it would begin to shrink. It just wouldn't work. So no one would have done it. And so Jesus now gives this parable, which is only a short one, it's one verse. And in fact, uh, the parable tomorrow is also one verse, which is taken from the same chapter. But why did Jesus tell this parable from Mark's gospel? Colin is gonna read that verse to us now from Mark chapter two. No one sews a pattern of unsunk cloth on an old garment. If he does, the new piece will pull away from the old, making the tear worse. It was a new direction, it was a new way of life. Coming to know Jesus means we are a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. And so Jesus, with this radical way of teaching, very different to what people were believing, what people were following. It was very different. But Jesus said to look forward, to look to the new. It's why he told this parable and why it was so important that people would listen, that people would follow. And that example of how you know, the, uh, the old garment would be damaged, but if you tried to repair it with the new cloth, reminded them, they had to look for something completely new with his teaching. This new direction, this new covenant as it would become. To live a godly life, to look to follow the ways of Jesus. It applies to us today as we change, as we grow, as we are transformed, as we come to know Jesus more. We grow in our faith. We are transformed and we head down the path of a new life with him. Have we already chosen to, done that, to do that? Are we looking to do it in the future to keep seeking him and following his ways of living?